MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Impressive place here at former Plex Ben. What is it you do? Uh, this is our tooling division. So we are making injection mould tools, components, uh, predominantly automotive injection mould tools in here, aluminium and steel. And you're a DMG user, why did you go for the monoblocks? I know it's obviously a heavy machine, it's a single piece polymer uh, uh, casting. Yeah. Uh, we, we wanted two additional five axes to go with our bigger five axes. So DMG and machines, they've got quite a broad range of machines. A typical mould and die 5 axis doesn't need extreme undercuts. It's generally around sort of 25 degrees. So we went for this configuration, which is a B axis head with a rotating table. Uh, it, it works exactly how we wanted it to be, really. And of course, the bed, the Z axis moves up and down. It's actually the bed rather than the, at the head of the machine. That's correct. Yeah. So the machine stays fairly rigid. The workpiece goes up and down. Uh, it's slightly different to any of the other machines in here. So it takes a bit of getting used to in the configuration. But yeah, it keeps the machine fairly rigid, fairly close up to the working area. And I guess if the rotary table set at zero, you can utilise the full capacity of the machine as well? Yeah, correct. Yeah, I mean, it's a three axis machine. You can cut up to 1200mm in length, uh, 710 width, or as a rotary, a simultaneous five axis, it's an 800mm rotary. And I know you program on the machine here at Formaplex, so yeah. how do you find the control? Yeah, good. Yeah, 530 control as for all our machines. All our CAM program is done on site. Uh, it's done at the machine by the operator. Uh, yeah, it's just relatively good. So, if you bought them on the blocks and you're happy, why did you buy the Evos? Uh, the Evos we purchased because we needed to machine five sides. So, the likes of the slides and the up and away and the injection mold tool. Uh, we need to be able to put the parts up and go right the way around them. These machines offered us the ability to get closer to the table when up at 90 degrees or even negative. Um, this was a perfect machine really in the DMG range for that. So it's four simultaneous five axes. Do you always use that or do you quite often use it as a three uh, axis? We use this predominantly three plus two, majority of what we do. Um, some components require scribe lines, end of part lines, that we use simultaneous. All deep pockets where the head's coming into collision, we use simultaneous five axis then. The 100 Evo, the first one I've seen in the UK. Was it a good choice? Yeah, very good. Yeah, we were actually uh, the first first company in the UK to take that machine. Um, it's a meter by 900, uh, takes a thousand kilos on the table. So for some of our small to medium sized injection mould tools, gives us good surface finish, uh, high level of accuracy. We can do all angled holes, any undercuts. We can do full all machining package complete on one machine without having to transfer it. So yeah, very good. And here at Formaplex, you work with many premium automotive manufacturers. Surface finish is a key. The DMG stack up? Yeah, they do. Yeah, very good. Hence why we've now got four. Um, good level of accuracy, good surface finish, uh, minimal polishing requirement. It's, I mean, some parts on B-side, we even leave them as, as a machine, machine finish. It's that good. Yeah, very good. And I like to say they're the five-axis champion. Do you, Ben, believe that DMG are the five axis uh, champions? Yeah, I think so, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I say, that's why we've got four of them. Um, we would continue to buy more. We haven't seen anything to suggest otherwise. 